When Jesus was born, and from the moment that his parents suspected that his destiny was to be the true king of Israel, not this king of the Jews thing with Herod the Great and his descendants, but that this responsibility would fall to this young child. I have no doubt this was a fearful, fearful thing, that they would have recognized the dangers, uh, even the, the fleeing and temporary relocation to Egypt would be an indication of that. But I think there'd be the hope too that, you know, Jesus, the son of theirs would be recognized. He would be coronated. He would be the king uh, that Israel would be then revived. I mean, you, you hear that in the Magnificat, Mary's great song uh, recorded in Luke, where she says, my soul magnifies the Lord. And she alludes to prophets, prophecies and promises to the patriarchs. There's not a hint in her great song that she anticipates that her son will suffer. But a, a very spiritual man speaks prophetically to her, a man named Simeon. And he sees in this child redemption for Israel, a blessing for Israel, but a pain that will pierce Mary's heart. So there's at least a hint early on that there could be some serious grief.